In this video, I will show you some herbs that shouldn't be missing in your herb garden or pot. Specifically, let's talk about mint, lavender and motherwort. These herbs are extremely beneficial for your health and not only have a beneficial effect on your body in the form of prevention, but they also have a positive effect on your mind. Mint Almost everyone knows mint for its pleasant menthol aroma and taste. The use of mint in our areas has been documented since the Middle Ages. The oldest evidence of its use comes from Egypt. It is one of the most used medicinal plants. And what is mint used for? Mint supports the normal functioning of the digestive tract and intestines, strengthens the natural defenses and immune system, helps relax and sleep, acts against bloating and helps the normal function of the respiratory system. As an inhalation, it is suitable for respiratory diseases. Did you know that in areas outside the tropics there are about 15 species of mint in Eurasia? They are perineal herbs with creeping rhizomes. They cross easily. They usually do not form seeds and reproduce only vegetatively. Peppermint is a hybrid of growing water mint and spearmint. It is usually 40 to 80 cm tall and has a straight stem. In terms of effect, it is the most important component of essential oil. The main substance is menthol. Mint is suitable for digestive problems, cramps in the digestive tract, bloating and flatulence. Suitable for increasing appetite. In case of a cold, it encourages breathing. Mint is most often used in the form of infusion. For a cup, use a teaspoon of leaves or double the natty. Pour boiling water, infuse for 15 minutes. The infusion can be drunk 2-3 times a day. Mint essential oil or infusion can also be used for inhalation. Lavender Lavender comes from the Western Mediterranean. It is a popular herb for its long-lasting scent even after drying and also for its healing effects and insect repellent ability. Lavender flowers are used in fragrant gems and are used to make lavender vinegar. It is also possible to make lavender sugar for baking. Put a few dried lavender flowers in sand glass in a glass for about a week. Lavender sugar adds a delicate sweet scent. If we put crushed fresh flowers in the sugar, the lavender taste will be more pronounced. Such sugar is used in baking and desserts. Lavender ice cream. Try it. It is very delicious. Add lavender to chocolate ice cream or chocolate mousse. Chopped lavender flowers are added to rice, lamb and rabbit meat. They can be part of marinades. It combines well with marjoram, goodwill, parsley, rosemary, saturea and thyme. Since ancient time, lavender has been used to support digestion, sleep, to soothe anxiety and depression. Lavender was considered an antidepressant for its ability to improve mood. And how to prepare infusion of lavender flower? Use 1 to 3 small teaspoons of lavender flower per cup of boiling water. Let stand for 10 minutes and drain. The recommended daily dose is 3 cups a day. Motherwort Motherwort was already popular in ancient Egypt. Due to their high content of antiseptic substances, 
tinctures and oils, for example, have been used in embalming mummies. This herb was also known in ancient Greece and Rome. At the time it was used to stop bleeding and its scent helped give soldiers courage and strength. That's why she may have once been called a plant of courage. The Greeks burned it in sacred places and the Romans added it to the fragrances. Another interesting thing is the love potion, which was prepared by witches from Mirjram, Sparrowhawk, Myrtle and of course Motherwort. Thyme and thyme contain a lot of healthy substances, so they have a very wide and similar use. They are widely used medical herbs, which are often part of alternative medicine. They can be prescribed internally, they are widely added to the natural cosmetics. Thyme is also an excellent spice, which is added to the food. Um, food specialties by Italians and Spaniards, but also in French cuisine or in the Balkans. Even the mother's ear fits perfectly into the kitchen for baking and stewing. Thyme includes tannins, essential oils, bitters, minerals like iron, magnesium, potassium, manganese, calcium, zinc and the others. And also vitamin A. It has a beneficial effect on bloating or digestive disorders in general. Due to its bitterness content, it increases the production of gastric juices. It relieves colds, especially suppresses cough. It helps with sore throats. The mother's ear can be brewed like tea, allowed to cool slightly and then used for gargling. It can be inhaled or used in the form of mouthwash. It has strong antiseptic effects, so it has a strong effect on bacteria, fungi and parasites. Thank you for watching my video till the end. I hope it was useful for you and uh, if you like this video, don't hesitate to write me in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and see you soon in the next video. Bye!